Howdy folks, welcome to episode 19. Today is moving day, so you can see here I've removed all the stuff from all of our cargo boxes everywhere and the constructors and the ammo box and so I left some oxygen here obviously I'm not going to totally you know uh, destroy or demolish or undo the base or anything but I'm shutting it down and if I can get the door open now <laughs> and uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna leave this base and we're gonna move to the new base on Ninguez as we set it up so I've put all the stuff in here so here's all the stuff that was in my inventory, a bunch of stuff from the constructors, and some of the other, you know, supplies, equipment, all that. So basically that's all of our, and the food processor in the fridge. So I do need to get going here and not standing around as that stuff expires. But yeah, so there's all of our stuff. And I'm gonna take off and bring this thing all the way over to Ninguez. So I will meet you guys over on Ninguez in just a minute. <laughs> don't know what that is don't want to know you can make up your own caption for that <laughs> oh yeah guys there's one other thing aside from this <laughs> the, the player position uh, I'm not sure what's up with that but uh, yeah this is a new version it's 0501 build 0501 in the experimental branch for those of you who are not familiar with it and there you go they've added a docking sound so when you dock and when you undock so you can tell when you're docking now which is pretty cool so yeah and they've added a couple other new things which we're going to get into in a little bit when we get over to Ninguez so I will meet you guys over there Okay guys, we're back and I've got everything organized here. So I've got all this stuff put away. I didn't, I, <laughs> organize is not quite the word for it. As you can see, it's a bit messy here and I got some bullets made so I can grab those. And um, so we're gonna start on the second floor since the sun is coming up. So let me jump in here and we'll go upstairs and we'll see if we can get the first floor copied up to the second floor if I can remember how I did this so so let's see here need to make sure that I've got this down right so those are a diagonal on the outside and then the angled piece okay all right I think I can do that and so I'm going to do as much as I can with the drone I think and then we'll get the We'll have probably have to stand on the ship as a scaffolding. Oh, that was interesting. Let me try that again. See what that was. Huh, okay. No, maybe it was just the ch camera changing. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, that's interesting, too. The ground is not loaded in because of... Yeah, because I came down from space, it's still having issues with that. And that looks like... Is that west of here? No, that's northeast. That's another POI over there. Okay. All right. Well, that's one way to discover POIs. Okay, so anyway, let's see. We've got, I've got a bunch of the concrete blocks here. We'll get these going, and let's see. I've got these here. And I think I'm just going to take them up as high as I can. Let's see how high we can get these to go. Yeah, it looks like maybe we're going to be able to go 20 blocks, I don't know, with the drone before we run out of room. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take those up that high, and then I'm going to have to get on the ship. So I will show you guys that in a second here, because yeah, it only lets you put up, I think, 11 blocks in a row. Yeah, it lets you, it lets you place 11 in each row. There we go. And so then what you can do here is what I had to do in earlier 
Whoa. <laughs> wrong, wrong key. I hit reload instead of external view. But what I had to do in earlier series, for those of you who haven't seen my earlier series, is I actually made a scaffolding ship, an SV that was specifically made to, to be scaffolding. And it actually worked really well. Um, it was a little... It was a little... Um, I don't know. It was a little bit slower because you had to keep getting in and out of the ship and moving it around and stuff. But, I mean, compared to, you know, trying to to build blocks and stand on them or anything like that, because this was before the drone existed. And so I've actually had those. They're still up on my Steam Workshop as well. But, yeah, we'll get this, we'll get this going. And so the other thing that helped, one of the things that I kept asking for when I had the... the that's that's terrible. When I had the scaffolding ship, I kept asking for the player to be able to pop out in a specific spot that you can that you can designate. And so this, they changed it at the same time. It would have really helped, but it's still helpful as you can see. So I do want to uh, get this done before my ship decides it's going to start falling. So, <laughs> and here we go. Let's see. We'll get back into the ship. And why does it look like I'm getting closer? Okay. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to do this and go up. Okay, we'll see how high we can get this thing to go. It looks like it's going pretty good. It looks like it looks like it's gonna be pretty tall, which is awesome. I want it to be yeah, that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be taller than the mountains. So we will be able to shoot down drone attacks before they get over the mountains once I get the, the top floor up here with uh, turrets and everything on it. That's going to be awesome. Okay, that's going to be really cool. And let's see how much more we can get here. This is really cool. Okay, and I'll probably have to get... Yeah, I'm going to have to get in the ship and go up some more. Not sure why it's... You know, I hit auto level and then it's like not leveling me or, or something because I'm still moving forward. Okay, one more, one more layer here maybe. Let's see how high it'll let us go. And can we keep going? Oh, this would be sweet. Oh, there's the top. There's the top there. As you can see, it's not letting me place blocks higher than that. So I'm going to come down. Yeah, because it does that. So I'm going to come down, I think, three blocks. Maybe five. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what I want to put on the top. Yeah, why don't I come down five? Because I don't want to be end up trying to build something cool on the top like a little antenna or something like that and then be limited so we'll do this and actually instead of doing that why don't I count floors instead so we'll get in here and we'll go back down to yeah that's weird it's not leveling me completely because as you can see I'm getting farther and closer as I go up and down even though I've hit the auto level thing so apparently it doesn't level the other way. Okay, so we'll take the paint gun. Let's see. Where's our color tool? And we will count out our blocks here. So we'll go, let's see, we're going to make these green anyway. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, ten. Fifteen. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, okay, getting some of it, and let's see, we'll get some more here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 35, 40, one, two, three, four, forty-five, and fifty. One, two, three, four, fifty-five. One, two, three, four, sixty. Wow, it's oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna need a lot more blocks than I thought, though. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to do some mining off uh, between episodes here off camera, unless you guys want to watch a whole lot of mining. Um, which I don't think that makes for exciting 
viewing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, sixty-five. Seventy. Is that seventy? One, two, three, four, seventy-five. Eighty. One, two, three, four, eighty-five. One, two, three, four, ninety. Ninety-five. Come on, ninety-five. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. I'm guessing it's 128 up there at the very top. But let's see. That was 95. One, two, three, four, and a hundred. One, two, three, four, 105. Okay, so there's 110, and yeah, so we'll just take this, because we're doing 10 blocks, I think, per floor, which will leave a nice airy thing, I think. So let's go back down and check this out and make sure that this looks right. Let's see here. Because that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and the 11th block oh boy I guess I'm just gonna have to build it all the way up before I do that so the 11th block 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah the 11th block is the actual roof so, <laughs> so 3 6 yeah cuz there's 10 windows between floors okay so I'm going to build this up and uh, I don't think you guys want to watch all of that little details. Maybe I'll do a time lapse for that. And I'll get the rest of this as, at least as much as I have materials. And I will see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and I actually had to stop because I ran out of glass and uh, <laughs> cement. So I have some more cement to make a few more blocks but not really enough to do another floor. So I figured this would be a good stopping point. Plus I've got a few things that mirrored weirdly here. As you can see right in the middle there. Not sure what happened with that but they, yeah, they mirrored weirdly somehow and so I need to fix that and flip a couple of these windows around and stuff but it looks like we'll have maybe five or six more floors that we can add on here so this thing will be maybe 10 or 11 floors and so that's gonna be pretty cool and so I'm gonna to have to do some mining and stuff between episodes and I'll probably hang out with Hurley and she'll help me with some getting a bunch of silicon and and rock and all that stuff so the other thing I wanted to show you here is the the other new cool thing they added is they have I think I showed you the shutter doors maybe I didn't but they have shutter doors now and so these are like the other things where you can pick different sizes of them and so like the 3 by 3 here you can pick that and then when you run up to it and you hit T there you go it opens the door and I think it's still yeah it's still 
kind of bugged right now in that you can't reach it to shut it. That's cool though that it that it opens as you walk up to it. That's really cool. That is it. it closes when I walk away. Okay, that's awesome. All right, and the other thing that's really cool is they added the diagonal version of this, I think, which is a ramp. Let's see if they have a three by three. Yeah, three by three. Here we go. Okay, so let's see how this fits. And this would be really cool if, if this thing is what I think it is, where you run up to it and it it comes out, maybe, if it's a shutter ramp. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can make it... That'll be nice for like a, a an HV bay and stuff. That'll be pretty cool. So it looks like it doesn't retract when you walk up to it, but you should be able to... Yeah, you can do that and run up and uh, there's something chasing me. I'm going to run into my base and retract the shutter ramps. And they also have those for SVs, I believe. Let's check here. And they are in the tech tree. So let's see, small vessel. Yep, they have shutter ramps. And so, yeah, and the shutter doors. And the other cool thing is if you put two of those right next to each other, they will actually pair up. And so you can open and close two at the same time. I'll do this, I'll put one upside down just so you can see. Here we go, let's add this here. And I think now when I, okay, okay, it doesn't because they're back to back, but when you put them side to side, they will actually, or at least they were before, they were, they were opening and closing, let's see. Huh, okay, that's cool that the, the thing activates it too. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one down because I'm not going to use it like that. Wow, that was weird lag spike. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for episode 19. And before we go, somebody mentioned in the comments, and I've been thinking about the same thing, is that, you know, especially with a build like this, the structural integrity is kind of, you know, flaky and stuff like that, or it's just, it's not what I'd really like it to be. And so I have considered doing a series with it off, you know, doing a base build with the structural integrity off, at least for this kind of base. And I'm curious what you guys think about it. Do you think the series would be better that way or worse that way? You know, what's your opinion on, on the structural integrity? So leave, leave a comment if you have an opinion either way or any thoughts on that. Leave a comment down below in the comment section and tell me what you think of that, about that because I need to figure out whether I want to do that or not. I may even, if it's going to be really horrible in this, in this build, I might end up turning it off. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really decided yet. I, I probably won't, but it's a realistic consideration. So anyway, we will see you in the comments and we will see you in episode 20 where we will probably try to get some more of this done. So we'll join us and we'll see you then. Later. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>